day has finally arrived for Detroit Catholic Central's first football game of the 2023 season. With excitement in the air, the school day ends with the fall sports assembly. It's an honor to be the head coach of this historic football program. I'd like to thank Father Fulton, Father Kaufman, our administration, Ed Turek, Dave Lewis, and Aaron Babbitts for their trust in me and the support of the football program. I'd like to thank our great alumni, especially George Turek and Lou Yeager, for their time, energy, and passion for OCC. Your impact will be felt for generations. I'd like to recognize two men that have had a tremendous influence on my life and coaching career, legendary coach Tom Mack and Dan Anderson, we will continue the great tradition you have built. Sometimes I'm known as an emotional guy, but this place means a lot to us, as you know, and myself. This is the greatest institution in the world. We wear our heart on our sleeve. This is bigger than a game. This is about community, our student body, our band, our faculty, our alumni, our family. Be where your feet are, as Coach Hancock always says. Be remembered as a great brother that will earn and protect the respect of Catholic Central. We at CC grieve together, we cheer together, and tonight we will win together. God bless and live and die for CC High. This assembly is not about athletics. This assembly is about one shamrock, standing unified, representing Harper, Belmont, Outer Drive, Breakfast Drive, and now Whitson Road. This is who we are. This is the culture. God, country, Catholic Central, goodness, discipline, knowledge, servant leadership, and a smash mouth lifestyle. See you tonight, no shamrock. Yeah. Excitement brewing on both sides. The most anticipated season of high school football just moments away from kicking off as the team transitions into the regime under new head football coach and CC graduate Justin Sassante. The opening of a brand new Jumbotron scoreboard in the south end of the field and a whole new vibe has been growing around this team. Some new faces and some returning, but one thing remains the central theme as we progress towards game time. Shamrock football returns tonight. of high school football is officially underway from the 10 yard line with really no running room there. And he is swamped by multiple Shamrock defenders. Looks like Cheney delivered the initial hit.
Gash will field it from the 43. Makes a man miss. Gash cuts up field. Flags fly. There's no way anyone's going to stop Samson Gash for the moment. He has a 57-yard punt return touchdown. It is going to be an illegal block in the back, so that play is going to come back. straight time finding a hole Krieger into the end zone a shamrock touchdown for Lee Krieger Lloyd. Lloyd finding space, untouched for the seven yard touchdown, Cameron Lloyd. And so, coach Justin Sasante's first half as the head coach of Catholic Central. They hold Dearborn to just 40 total yards in the first half. Nevertheless, a dominant win for Catholic Central. 28-7, the final score here from the Elm. Fellas, take a good win. We got a lot to clean up, all right? Mentally, physically, emotionally, all right? Keep working, we gotta get back to work, all right? We'll be in the locker room, tell you what time we're going tomorrow, all right? Probably going 1.30 lift, all right? Then we'll, uh, we'll run and watch film, all right? Hey, hey, the win's a win. We know we beat ourselves a little bit. We know that could have been way more out of hand than it was, right? All right, but we, we, we are beating ourselves, all right? But we've worked hard, we earned that victory. All right, be proud of yourselves, you got it? <laughs> so, we'll be proud of yourself. All right. Red Red White! Red 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 Man, we've been anticipating this for like months. Like, it's crazy that we're already here. You know, we got things that we could have done, but you know, we came home with the W, so but there's always room for improvement. And amazing, I think that set off a good tone for the rest of the season. I mean, I know we need work, but we see what we got. Fantastic night tonight at the Elm, the home opener for the Shamrocks, home opener for Coach Justin Sasante, home opener for the student section, the band, our community. We stand as one Shamrock. We talked about it in our assembly today. Everybody stands together. This wasn't about a football game. It was about our whole family standing together and celebrating the Shamrock Nation.